All right, first submarine we have on the list is the Abyss. So the Abyss looks like a submarine you see in real life, which is why I think it's so cool to me being able to see it in Subnautica. It looks like one of those, I don't know what they're called exactly, but it's definitely like a deep sea submarine. Aside from just looking cool, it also has some pretty good features. So we got two power cells on the back and then it comes with two stores like giant storage modules. Okay, yeah, there's there are two giant separate storage modules and you don't have to put any upgrades on them. If we go inside, inside the submarine, there's plenty of room to move around. It also comes with a fabricator. You got a, you got a little upgrade panel right here. And unlike the other modded submarines, this one also has these valves that allow you to control the amount of power, like you can dedicate power to certain aspects of the submarine. So this one does, you can increase the vertical power, but it makes you consume more power. This one does lateral power, so going left and right. And then we got forward power, obviously forward. It increases the power consumption, so that's the only thing you gotta watch out for. And we also have these panels over here, but these only only two of them work as far as I know, because this one autopilot doesn't work. This one has no use, no use. Default colors, the interior lighting also doesn't do anything. Nav lights also doesn't do anything. So the only two that work are the floodlights, but you know, floodlights and headlights, but and you can turn the power on and off. Another thing about this thing, it, it feels it feels like it's heavy, almost, because it takes a little bit to stop the submarine when you're going forward. And you can bump into quite quite a lot before you actually start taking like any serious damage. That was only. Oh my god! Sounds like freaking machine gun fire. All right, anyways, that was the abyss, and let's go to the next vehicle. All right, the next submarine we got on this list is the Phantom. Now the Phantom looks like something. That's 100% from Subnautica because the um, the paint scheme, just the way it looks, got that semi-futuristic look that Subnautica sort of has with its vehicles. But I also feel like this thing should be able to fly because it's got like these little, these awesome freaking wings on the side. Now the Phantom is a little bit different than the Abyss, but it's also a little bit cooler than the Abyss, which is why I put it above the Abyss. Even though the Abyss is the Abyss is cool in its own in its own little right, but the Phantom is just a little bit cooler because for one, the main difference here is the fact that it's got a prawn suit docking bay so we can actually carry the prawn suit around and now we have a prawn suit on the back of our phantom which is nice it comes with eight lockers of stores that all have some pretty pretty decent what is that one two three four five six so we got so it comes with 192 slots of storage but it also comes with a fabricator so that's also nice and then you got the upgrades right here well unlike the abyss this thing has six batteries i feel like it's a little bit overkill but you know the more the merrier i guess but yeah the phantom is not as durable as the abyss but it is faster and it also looks cooler because it fits within the world of Subnautica. now let's go on to the next vehicle at the number one of this list we have the seal submarine which is like the cyclops on on steroids basically if the cyclops went to the gym started a bulk and everything this this would this is what it would look like. So not only does the seal fit into the world of Subnautica, it also looks freaking amazing. And now that I'm looking at it now, it kind of looks like a like a big rocket ship, if I'm being completely honest. But yeah, we got this giant little bay back here, which can dot, I believe this is for your... Yep, okay, it's for the front. Okay, I know, okay, I didn't mean to get shot right back out. Hold on, let me in. Okay, you look when I be a little careful oh that's kind of cool actually what the heck okay that's kind of cool kind of holds it together with uh i guess i guess these are like magnets or whatever this little seal upgrade fabricator right here so you can make these seal upgrades in the submarine so we got the speed module making it faster thermal what is this okay so basically the thermal reactor solar and then you got your depth modules right here and we have the engine row that's where you would put the upgrades and we got one two three four five so we have a total of 10 power cells. That's freaking insane. We need to disembark. And I'm like 80, I'm like 100% sure you can build in here. Yep, you can build in here. You can easily, easily make like a small, a small base in here. Oh, that's glass. That is glass. And this is a higher room up here. This makes me want to do like a modded playthrough using the seal as my only little base or something. Now I don't see, it does not have the, um, like how the Cyclops has the a head flank, a head slow, all that. It doesn't have that, unfortunately. Like, oh, this thing is so big. It's so cool looking. Oh my gosh. The, the bigger submarine mods, whenever you have like a giant submarine mod, especially in Subnautica, it's just, it's just amazing looking. Okay, you can put the Seamoth and the, or the Prawn Suit in here. All right, that's, that's cool as well. The Seal was by far the coolest one on this list, most definitely. Hence why it made number one. So at number three, we had the Abyss submarine, which is right here. It's the one that's a little little realistic looking doesn't look like it belongs to Subnautica, but it does fit in this game because it's a deep sea submersible number two we had the phantom which is the sort of winged submarine looks very cool very cool and it can also hold the cyclops i mean 
the Cyclops. It can hold the prawn suit on its back, but nothing more than that. Got some nice space and it fits in the game of Subnautica. And then lastly, we have the Cyclops' big brother, bigger, much cooler brother who actually goes to the gym, the freaking steel submarine. Looks sort of like a rocket ship. It says jet blast. Come on now, come on now. It, it's gotta be, the model has to be based off of, of a rocket ship. I mean, come on now. But yeah, number three, we have the Abyss, two Phantom, and then number one at the very top, we got the Seal Submarine. That's all I had for y'all, and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.